these are smaller studies and it can't uh, compare them face to face but in the in in terms of the response rates we have seen uh, mln9708 working in patients who have previously received bortezomib um, we have uh, in, if you look at the response rate that we are seeing in this combination they are very comparable to what we have seen with the uh, welke trevlimid dexamethasone combination in the previous trials It depends on what context you're talking about standard treatments. Okay, so patients with multiple myeloma who has a newly has a new diagnosis, I think it's you can use either lenalidomide dexamethasone or bortezomib dexamethasone as the initial treatment. But in patients with high risk cytogenetics, I think we have we should, based on the data we have, always include the bortezomib in the combination, uh, whether it be a bortezomib cyclophosphamide combination or a bortezomib trevlimid combination. Um, and not only that, the high-risk patients, irrespective of whether they go to transplant or not, should continue to get bortezomib, uh, we think at least for two or three years. I think that's where most of the benefit has been seen.